Another one would be, um, let's suppose that you want to talk about your podcast or your, your show, right? What you do is, I call it a pronoun hunt. So what you do is you take the, the elements of the show and you describe it in many different ways that you want other people to describe it as, you know, as a all-star, you know, as a, as a marketing all-star interview series, as a, you know, um, a game changing, um, as a game changing podcast, as all this other, you know, you come up with a bunch of descriptions. So when you're writing your copy in the first draft and you're talking about why people should go to the podcast and you use the words podcast, show, 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 podcast, and that starts to get repetitive, you replace those with, you know, when you watch this all-star, you know, this all-star series of terrific marketers, you know, so what you're doing is you're, you're, you're feeding them all these different descriptions and the ways that you want them to think about your show. And you're doing that naturally just by replacing the pronouns that you were putting in your draft. Make sense? That totally makes sense. Yes. And I think something that, you know, we kind of do learn that in, in high school, like our writing and you know, doing essays and stuff like that, we are supposed to do that, but it also makes sense that it's also a powerful thing, right? Because you're describing it in a, in a positive way that's going to, you know, create. Yeah. Well, there, and there's lots of ways that you want to describe, you know, you don't want to be pigeonholed as, you know, just say a, just a, a an Amazon bestselling author. You want to, you know, you're, you want to, you want to be known as an innovative thinker, an Amazon right. author, a top copywriter, a, you know, a, you know, top copywriting instructor, you know, but, the, and so to every element that you want to promote, when it's the character, you know, when it's a personality, when it's the show or whatever the, uh, or the product itself, write a bunch of different descriptions for each one of those. And so you'll find natural places to replace that. And I call it replacing a pronoun hunt because it becomes more clear. So every time you look at the word it, he, she, they, show, anything that's, that's representing an actual noun, you know, go back there and switch it over and change it. 